Hey everybody, we're going to be going over a knife discussion video today, and this one is definitely going to get some hate comments down below, but it is going to be why I hate the paramilitary 2 by Spyderco. <clears throat> and that's a pretty bold statement, um, especially for a lot of people, but this knife and me do not get along whatsoever, and this is not the only version I've tried. This is my second paramilitary too, and I can still say I do not like it whatsoever. Um, there are definitely key components that I do enjoy about it, but overall, this is not going to be staying in my collection. Once again, just like the other one did not, this one will not be either. And we're just going to kind of jump into the reasons why I dislike the blade um it's first going to be starting off with the blade here definitely there there is some cons here um as you can see it starts off with a fairly fairly uh good stock and narrows down into a very very um very small tip very thin right by that tip which is good for uh precision but at the same time I've heard a lot of horror stories of PM2s losing this tip part uh, in some accident, as well as it. it's very, it's not good having such a thin tip where you can break it very easily without even really doing too much to the knife to pressure it. Um, as well as continuing on with the blade, there is no sharpening troil. And with a steel like S110V, which is this edition of it, it makes it extremely hard to sharpen it without nicking up the very edge of this blade here, which isn't good at all and personally is a distaste to me and I really don't enjoy it um, whatsoever. As well as um, on my first paramilitary 2, the grind was horrendously off from side to side this side was about what it's at now a very shallow um very just nice even bevel on this side but when you got to this side it was probably at a 10 degree angle so it's super broad and way way off of the other side and that is just awful and the quality that I've experienced with paramilitary twos coming out of the um, U.S. Colorado factory has been awful. I have not really found very good fit and finish or quality overall within the ones I have handled and dealt with uh, out of the two I have. And this one is the S1, or yeah, the S110V model uh, with that steel and the blurple scales. Uh, not picking it up very well in this light, but uh, the other one was the S30V with a satin blade and black G10, and I've not been very impressed with them at all, so that's been a lot of my uh, key failures with the blade in my, um, in my view, as well as if someone drops the blade, um, that's what happened to this one. It actually broke part of the tip off on just a simple drop when it didn't initially land on the tip. It landed on the handle and bounced and barely nicked the tip and yet broke it off. So there goes proof for the fragile. And the person I traded this for professionally sharpened it. Moving on to the scales. The compression lock is hit or miss on quality. Um, which is sad to see. It is such an amazing lock and... They could have a lot of amazing products with it, yet I feel like the compression lock on the Paramilitary 2 is a good lock choice. At the same time, it's always underdone for me. So what I'm talking about, um, um, it's a super strong lock. I'm not going to doubt it at all. At the same time, why have such a insanely strong lock? For a thin blade that can't handle the abuse towards this front end. Not saying the uh, this thicker part definitely could. But 
at the same time it can create a lot of blade play when you actually hard use a paramilitary 2 that was shown in uh, the late boy scouts hard use video of it where it did develop blade play as well as i know overall fit and finish wise there has been a lot of mistakes with these as well as the grind i had um several people i know on instagram have had problems on the inside metal having different burrs with the drill outs and that's awful where you actually have to disassemble it which voids spydaco's warranty just so you can make the knife smooth which is what the paramilitary 2 is supposed to be with this compression lock and personally it's not nearly as smooth as any other knife um let's take this we knives 617 that i bought for 120 dollars which is the base model of a paramilitary 2 flips out fantastic and drop shut instantaneously it's on ceramic bearings and has a bunch of titanium parts which is higher quality higher fit and finish and overall better product for the money versus the paramilitary 2 and it's ridiculous this lanyard tube is always flared out so whenever you do disassemble the knife it is hard as well as Spyderco does put red Loctite in their screws, additionally making it a lot harder to take apart, which voids their warranty. Um, the stock clip, it rides pretty well. This uh, deep carry clip is just fine. I have no problems with it, and it helps the knife overall. But um, no, I have always had problems with my paramilitary twos. And this is why I hate this knife, is there's just so many things that hold this back from being a high quality, high performing knife. The Ergos are okay. Um, at the same time, you have a very thin tip and you're very far away from it uh, when back here. Uh, you can choke up, but I feel like that puts a lot of pressure forward and um, forward, but more in this area, which... I don't feel, I feel like you'd be doing more EDC fine tuned stuff out here. It's the personal preference of I have and the way I use my knives. Uh, this does not work for me. Something like a Strider SNG works a lot better with ergonomics, clip, steel, value is better on an SNG. Ergonomics are better on an SNG. It makes a lot more sense the overall design of having a smaller blade with more handle works a lot better on a strider smg but yeah i have always been let down by my paramilitary twos in the past and i do not plan on buying any more of these due to the horrible fit and finish i've had and overall quality control of being subpar and the fatal design flaws in my opinion so uh this has been just a small uh kind of knife talk with minnesota knife guy here so uh i'll be catching you guys on the next video